Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today I'm working on my dad's uh, 2001 Toyota Avensis Verso. The one that it's actually, he's had this machine for a long time, probably like almost nine years. And um, I'm gonna be just changing the fuel filter and doing a lot of other stuff. This car has a lot of miles, but almost 400,000 kilometers. So that's pretty amazing and impressive. And this is a diesel, you know, you don't see diesels in the United States and you know, so especially in the Toyota. So <clears throat> it's actually really, really cool. and. This van, this minivan has been like a workhorse for my dad and it's a pretty fun machine to drive and it's also a stick shift, so. We'll be changing the fuel filter on this car. This legendary car. He's done a lot of work to this car over the years. Changed the clutch a couple times. Uh, then did suspension work this and other stuff timing belt on it but that's the engine right here and uh yeah this fuel filter hasn't been replaced in a long time uh, i think when he first got it he replaced it but now i'm going to be doing it again you know and uh he already got the filter out uh the air filter yeah but yeah this actually it sounds really good i mean i love these engines that's really cool i wish united states had these machines as well but they do not, unfortunately. But these are really amazing cars. Not as amazing as old school Benzes, but still. Yeah. So this is your filter assembly, which is right here. I'm gonna take this whole thing out, really disconnect it. A few connectors, actually. And then these hoses, hose clamps right there. Yeah, I mean, this is actually the uh, suction valve, basically, the primer pump on top. This is the fuel filter I'll be using right here for this machine. I got the garbage bag in here too to prevent the spillage all over the place. I got the rubber hoses. Um, bagged okay. I can go ahead and grab this whole assembly there it is so at first using these amazing gold plated whatever channel knocks we're gonna loosen this guy and there's actually a seal there too which i'll have a new one it's a very interesting design for this filter on this car i actually don't know what this connector is maybe it's like a preheater or something there's like two wires going to it very interesting or maybe, yeah, it's no, actually, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's almost like a level or something. That's what that is. Okay, but that's seal right here. I'm gonna get that replaced. And that's the filter. You just kind of have to unscrew it now. So here's the old filter. So I wanna see. I mean, it seems like it's kind of dirty in there. I can't tell. And it's funny, there's like another o ring floating in there. It's almost like that's not normal. Let's see. It doesn't seem like it's too, too bad, I guess. But yeah, someone forgot to remove this other O-ring in there. That is crazy. Okay. Because, well, on this one, I'll be replaced. I put the new O ring in here. And then this one was in there. It was basically bad. I mean, you have to replace them every time. This is like a pancake. But here's the new filter I'm going to install. This one's very clean in there, as you can see. New filter installed. Now I'm going to fill it up with diesel purge. Gonna be nice. Just 
diesel purge. I also want to clean this uh, air filter housing. It's pretty dirty. Gonna use a little bit of snow in there to help me out. Like that. Isn't that something, huh? How about that? Some life tricks right there. And now I'm gonna start pumping. I connected everything here. I'm gonna start pumping the diesel in there. gonna start feeling really hard like right now and that's basically almost it I mean we can start I'm gonna start I'm gonna start it soon check for leaks she's gonna be great My dad is going for a test drive. So I just ended up kind of moving the engine cover back out of the way. This one is still kind of, you know, I sprayed PU blaster here, it's still kind of stuck in there. So, but I'm gonna be able to get to those suction valves. I'm just removing the harness kind of out of the way. And that way we can get to those and replace them. Okay, there's one of them. About to take the other one out. So the other one, also all the bolts are out. I'm just gonna turn it. So I turned it like this, and then I'm just gonna carefully pry this out. There's the other one. the surface a little bit there and install new ones here are the new ones that we have brand new made in japan We're gonna be installing those here are the two new ones green and red i'm gonna install them i'm gonna add a little bit of diesel on those o-rings and then a little bit of grease on that surface right here where it meets the uh <coughs> the actual pump so it doesn't seize ever together. And here's a new one going in. So putting a little bit of paste grease on the bolts. And I learned that it's easier to, you know, use the bolts to actually drive those uh, valves in because they're pretty tight, new O-rings and everything. Even though I lubricated all the O-rings and everything, it was 
still a pain so i'm just doing it like this gonna use the bolts to you know move the valve in Okay, so I had them mixed up, unfortunately, uh, the first time. Right now they're sitting properly. That's how they're supposed to be. Green one facing the engine block. Awesome, no leaks. I'm gonna let it run a little bit. What are you doing? <laughs> 